Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Don. This is Rock in the Country. Hope things are going well in your neck of the woods. If not, I did a video last week and I made myself available to folks to do life coaching on a donation basis. So the information's in the description box below, but some folks don't have a whole bunch. And so with my life coaching practice, during in regular practice, I charge a lot more, but for people on the channel who I've learned, some folks are going through tough times. So I just wanted to give an occasional reminder for that. In the vein of donation requests, I'm doing a gift request today for David Ball's song, Smoking Cigarettes and Drinking Coffee Blues. I had done Marty Robbins' rendition of this a couple of years ago, maybe. I don't fully remember, but that title, How Can You Forget It, right? And it was requested by Jason Halverson. So Jason, shout out to you, my friend. Thank you for this one. Let's see what David Ball does. And I've done a number of David Ball's songs. Let me check and see. Oh, yes. Thinking Problem, Riding with Private Malone, Look What Followed Me Home, When the Thought of You Catches Up With Me, Honky Tonk Healing, and now Smoking Cigarettes and Drinking Coffee Blues. So let's see how he does this rendition of the song. Boop. How could you not be in a good mood? Two seconds in. Guess I'll take a walk tonight. I know that I can't sleep. And I won't go to bed at all. I just lay there and wait. Still I'll make that's what I think I'll do I've got those smoking cigarettes And drinking coffee blue Oh boy Smoking cigarettes And drinking coffee all night long Wondering how a love so right Could suddenly go wrong I'd catch the next bus out of town but I've got to be near you I've got those smoking cigarettes and drinking coffee blue Simple, but it tells the whole story. Why did David do this? Sitting at the table where I call my baby's name. One how our love went wrong Wondering who's to blame Listening while the jukebox Plays a song that makes me blue Another cup of coffee And a cigarette or two Smoking cigarettes And drinking coffee All night long all right, uh, this just struck me for the first time. And I heard the song before, as I said. But normally in a country song, you're drinking whiskey, you're drinking beer, you're drinking too much of something. He's drinking coffee. That's very different. Wondering how he loves so right could suddenly go wrong. There's a lot of other people. No. White Yoko. I've got those smoking cigarettes and drinking coffee blues. I've got those smoking cigarettes and drinking coffee blues. Oh, it's over? Oh, he rem I figured it out. His voice reminds me of Dwight Yoakam's in this song. I don't think I picked up on that in any of the other songs, so it might have just been the way he was singing this song. But 
Some songs are so simple, but they just communicate exactly what they're about. The instrumentation here was kind of upbeat, though. So it's one of these things where it isn't a total blues song. You know, normally it's one of these things where you can feel the dude's bumming out, right? And relationship just isn't working. I don't know what it is about relationships and why. It, with I always think about human nature. Why are we so powerfully drawn to someone else? And when it's done, why can't we get over it? Like it just takes so much time for us to move on. I don't know what happens in the animal kingdom. Those of you who've seen my videos know that I like I'll always contrast. I'm like, cause that's what else that's what we have to compare to. Like I don't think animals suffer as long as we do. I don't know what it is about the human brain, about how we're made, why we need hardcore social interaction with others, but when we're in love and that's lost, why does it take so long to get someone? Even if you de like like somebody deeply, like maybe you haven't even fallen in love yet, it's still kind of hard to move past them. I don't know what that's about. But a song like this communicates that. The dude is just bumming heavily, but he's drinking coffee. That was the first time that I picked up on that. I don't think I even picked up on it when I listened to Marty's song because I just took the song at face value. But... Yeah, I mean, the option was there for the songwriter to say drink a moonshine, drink a whatever, but nope, he went with coffee. It's kind of clean dude, in a sense, at least for this evening, and he's smoking cigarettes, and that's, and well, cigarettes are what they are, but, all right, Jason, that was a fun one. I don't know when David did, th did this one, but I'm glad I made that connection to Dwight, because it was driving me nuts trying to figure out who it was, so. All right, I'm going to rate this one. That was fun. The number that popped into my head was an 8.9. 8 point is so close. If 8.9 pops into my head, that's what I go with, even though it's a tenth of a point away from the 9.0 playlist. But anyway, there it is. All right, folks, you can thank Mr. Jason Halverson. Jason, you're up north, northern United States, just south of Canada, as I understand it, right? You, are you in Minnesota? You've, seen, you've told me a few times. I try to keep track. So, all right, folks, have a great day. I'll see you on another video. Keep rocking the country. <laughs>